Conversations. Conversations with, with SD, SD Booker. Booker. Now, another big man, distraction, uh, conflict in this world, uh, particularly the, the U.S., I believe, uh, maybe the, even the U.K., well, I could say many places, but I live in the U.S., so we'll, we'll talk about the U.S., um, is race relations. Now, I personally believe this is one of the biggest hustles ever uh, to, to be displayed and exercised. And, you know, it's a shame we're still talking about race relations. Um, I think, I believe we're, uh, we're just spiritual beings, you know, uh, having a physical experience. And if you took these bodies away, most of us would not be in alignment or connect or hang with certain people we hang with. You know, we do it out of comfortability, uh, security, insecurity. Uh, and, and yeah, but man, we just looked at the spirit, the intent, the motivation of people. And we didn't have these bodies. Mm-hmm. We've been in different places. We would hang with different people. We would connect with different people. Uh, and so that's a beautiful thing. You and I have connected. I'm a so-called, you know, black male. You're a so-called uh, white female. And I say so-called just to keep it simple so everybody can understand. Uh, I'm not literally black. You're not literally white. Uh, right. But, right. <laughs> so um, I'm male, you're female. But we're bypassing that. Although we do recognize a masculine energy, your feminine energy, but we're bypassing that for a common goal. That's a beautiful thing. And I asked one of the brothers in the power circle, but we were talking about this. And I said, this is cool when we could do this on the individual level. I said, but how do we attack this from a world level? And and he said, well, you just got to focus on your home. You just got to focus on your circle. I do get that to an extent because uh, you can't look so far up the mountain. You'll be distracted and, and lose hope got to start at the bottom and, and work on it and work on it uh as, as just you said with the children um you know uh, one child at a time and you just work and work and work at it um but maybe i'm impatient but i'm like man this has to be a way we can wake up the masses we can really wake up the masses as to far i just opposed to me just working on my small circle and hoping it branches mm-hmm. out and believing it's going to branch out. Mm-hmm. The word's going to branch out eventually. So I don't know what, I mean, we got a big stage. We got the internet. So does it take this? Maybe we're doing it. Maybe I'm answering my own question. Maybe we're doing it. We're speaking to the masses on this, on this session. Um, but how do you feel about how race relations, how we deal with that? You know, it's interesting, and I hear you. You're speaking from a master teacher perspective. I feel the exact same way. You're like, your vision is different. You see the whole picture. And just like, for example, we're on the screen now. What if you couldn't see us? You could just see a white box and a black box. Right. And our souls would be talking. Our spirit would be talking, but you wouldn't see us. Right. Now is when you take away that part. Now you literally feel the spirit, don't you? You feel the very soul of the matter. You feel the people, the individuals feeling because you're not looking at a body and judging by this or this or this. So I learned something so interesting this last week. So here's my little, it's called tree of life. So just check this out, this tree. There's all these different colors. Here's different crystals for different things, right? So, So now let's look at this. The human race is a tree. Okay. Yes. So. Every color is a different race. Now we're all still part of the tree, aren't we? We are. We now are. here's something that is absolutely intriguing and I had never thought of it before, but I am just like, so I was working with this lady. Well, it's the uh, Teal Swan. She has a, a YouTube channel. Yeah, you mentioned her before. And yeah. Yes. And she made this statement that just froze me. I was just like, okay. She said, 
I have never, she said, this is interesting. She said, I'm finding that the different races have different operate in different chakras, like, like this. Okay. Different colors, right? Like this tree. Right. Right. She said, for example, I've never interviewed a, a white person who has their root chakra open, but almost all the black people do. They're the, okay. Now she's talking about our skin color reflects on the, look at the chakras. The one closest to the earth, the root chakra is a darker color. And as you go up and up and up, now you get up to the Chinese who have been into to spiritual practices and stuff for years and their skin yeah. is almost transparent. Now she, I was just like, oh my goodness. Each yeah. one of us is a different chakra. Each one of us actually, the tree of life, the whole tree of human, uh, you know, of, of the human uh, race is all of us have are, are strengthening a different chakra. We're actually strong in a different chakra. Wow. So now if we come together now, now look at this because this is the whole body. This is the whole tree. Cool. So if they can start, uh, you know, cutting at this branch and cutting at this branch and cutting at this branch, the poor tree is going to be just uh, dismembered. It's, it's going to not be healthy. And so that's what the divide and conquer. I think that's the whole thing with that divide and conquer is that they're going to separate us from us from each other. So we can't ping each other's uh, chakras. Does that make sense? <laughs> makes makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> makes a lot of sense. And actually, um, I've thought about this, and, and I'm glad you mentioned this because this this relates to culture, right? So I have this theory. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned the, the Chinese been been higher up on, on the chakra list, uh, or whatever our, our complexion is, you know. And I've always felt well, not always. Recently, I felt that. Culture is what you resonate with. It has nothing really to do with race. It's what you resonate mm -hmm. with. But mm -hmm. I could be a part of a few cultures. So, for instance, if um, if I'm in the banking industry as a black man, uh, I'm good at banking. This is my gift. Well, I'm an I'm an anomaly uh, for as banking. You know, we, we let's say the, mm -hmm. the 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 Jews master that. So that would be my culture. Yeah, that's not my race, but that would be my culture. Mm -hmm. um, so I could be a part of different cultures. It's not like okay, I'm a part of one culture because I'm a black man. No, I can I can mix with different races who fit different cultures I relate to. And I don't think I don't think many of us look at it like that. It's like, OK, you're white, <laughs> you're black, you're Asian. You, you stick to this. You stick over here. And when you may be like, I mean. You know, and this, I'm joking, but you may be white. You'd be like, I, I don't like rice cakes, <laughs> you know, or I might be black. <laughs> I might be black. I'm black. I, say, I don't I don't eat chit I don't eat chitterlings. So why you why you want to you know why you want to push me over there you know, and and me and the wife was talking about this one time, and I was like you know what, I look at some people, some black people as a whole do resonate, uh, with the white community more, and some white people do resonate with the black community more. Is that wrong? That's a spiritual thing, I think though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I really think I we got to, yeah, we got to get past the color. Um, you got to get past that color and we got to really look deeper and say, who are we spiritually? And who do I connect right. with culturally in different things, right? And I think that's holding us back big time because we're scared to step out. I agree. Or we're scared to let people in because they don't look like us. But if we look deeper, exactly, I could, I could yeah. not agree more. I could not yeah. agree more. Yeah, yeah. And that's I, that's been a pro. I believe that's been a whole a whole agenda of the Luciferian energy, if we want to call it that way, um, was to to invert that to 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 divide and conquer, to separate us all. And it's just ridiculous when you really think about it, and when you really, if you really feel into your soul, you know you've been here in multiple different colors and different races to experience it. Our soul comes here to experience what it wants to experience. Yeah. And it's like, 
I've, I've been on, uh, you know, calls working in different areas and communities and stuff like that, where, you know, I'll literally hear, you know, people spitting out hate to somebody because of their skin color, one side or the other. And uh, I've been a target of that actually quite a few times, but I just think to myself, you know, you poor thing, you don't realize that next lifetime you've got to come back in the one that you hated because that's just how the dynamic works.